season! We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five traveling to every country in the world. It all started back in 2013 with a five-week trip to Europe. And since then, we've been to six continents and 121 countries. Oh, Pakistan. This is one of those countries that you hear a lot about, but you really don't know what it's really like until you go there yourself. So we invite you to come along on the journey as we discover all the different areas here in Pakistan, starting with Lahore. What is a uh, typical Pakistani food that we should try? You know about God? God fruit. No. God, God. God? God. Yeah? Like. Like food? You don't know about God. Yeah, God. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like cow, God, sheep. You oh, know about yeah, sheep? Oh, yeah, goat, goat, goat. Yeah, 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 we know. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 we know, we know. Basically, my accent is different. That's why you are that's not okay. understand. And so, that's good? Nehari. Nahari. N Nali Nahari. Nahari Nahari. Beef Palau. Beef Palau. Oh, that yeah. sounds really good, eh, girls? Okay, so not one ATM works, so we are at this money exchanger changing our leftover Indian rupees. I've literally tried five or six banks, and when you go to exchange money, they ask for your visa and your passport. So it's like, and then they, they uh, look at every single piece of dollar, like, and literally check it out to make sure it's legit. You gotta be careful when you hand your phone over because I almost forgot mine at the border. The guys needed to know the hotel name, gave them my phone, and then I was like walking away and everything. And then all of a sudden I went to go say goodbye to them. I'm like, hey, is that my phone? <laughs> and sure enough, I almost left my phone at the border. Thank you. Your page name? Sorry? Your page name, visitor. Page name. Basically, our YouTube. YouTube, our YouTube channel. Alright, ready guys? Hello, Alright, the gate is over here. He was just trying to sell us a uh, mask, or a few masks, but yeah, all good. So I guess we gotta get used to this, like when someone stops you, you just gotta keep going. Let's go in. That was a fail. <laughs> the museum's closed, the fort's closed. So we're gonna go check out the mosque. Alright, I'm trying to find the money that has the, the thing on it. Which money is it? One of the bills, yeah? Not this one. Uh, no. no, 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 this one. Not this one. This one? No. no. That's a Karachi. That's a Karachi. No. This one? No, it's Indian. It's not a Pakistani. Well, that's United Arab Emirates. That's not even Pakistani. Yeah, yeah it's not a Pakistani. <laughs> This monumental tower serves as a symbol of the country's independence and is a significant historical landmark where the Pakistan resolution was passed on March 23rd, 1940. So behind us is the Badshahi Mosque. I'm probably saying it wrong, I'm sorry. And it belongs to the king. It's the king's mosque. He gave me a discount, apparently. I don't know the conversion, so I'm like, is this right? I asked um, our taxi guy, he's like, yeah, that's the right price, that's the right price, so all good. Donated by the WHO, the World Health Organization, donated these nice, beautiful bikes. The health care is free? All, not all. Not all. Some emergencies. Oh, okay, okay. Some so emer emergency like this yeah. is free? A uh, road accident, then uh, he will go. Oh, it's, and it's free? Yeah, it's free. Wow, that's good. We actually don't know much about the history yet of Pakistan. That's why we were really hoping to hit up that museum so we can learn and share some fun facts with you guys. But not to worry, we'll go bright and early tomorrow morning. Maybe they'll have some different coverings for us. I was going to say also, Lahore, even though it's like a massive city, it has these areas that are so nice and quaint and kind of peaceful like this. And also the streets are pretty clean, eh, Oshalik? Yes, very clean and green. And green. 
So behind me is the Sikh, and it's right beside their mosque. Yeah, so they have a, I guess it's a temple. And right next to it, it's very nice. Yep. Paying for the tickets. How much does it cost? It's 500 per person. It's about 10 Canadian, 10 Canadian dollars for all five to go in. The fort, we're going to the fort. Yeah, we thought it was closed. Yeah, we had an impression it was closed, but it's open. It's open. And yes. this is not the mosque, the mosque is yeah. over there. What's the name of the fort? We don't know. <laughs> What's the oh, name? Lahore Fort. Uh, Lahore Fort. Fort. Lahore Fort. Fort. Welcome. Very easy to know. It's a very old fort in Lahore. Very uh, ancient. Very old. Yeah. Hundred years ago. Wow. Look at the old fort ago. door. Nice. Thank you. Look at the door. I love when you go to all these forts. Oh my gosh, look at the wall. Beautiful, eh, girls? Look at the design, all the mosaic. That's all mosaic, all hand done. Yeah. And it looks like maybe it's gold, I don't know. Pretty amazing, eh? Yeah, very nice. Oh look, they have a baby door <laughs> for the little ones to go through. That was probably to sneak and see like, who's the enemy coming at us, you know? Wow, it's big in here, eh? We come from the Okay, so, you're watching a family that we're here. It was very busy, but there's someone here, and there's two guys explaining that these were elephant stairs. Elephant stairs. Let's go see if we feel like an elephant as we walk no, up. Feel happy? Well, elephant footprints. Elephant. Any elephant footprints? That's why they're so big. The stairs. The Royal Garden. All right, so we're seeing the Royal Haman where it is right in front of us. But something I just learned about it is that during the summer, when it's hot, it becomes cold the water, and during the winter, it becomes hot the water. So I don't know how it works, but it's amazing. So this is where it's at. It's like a giant hot tub. Yeah. Oh, you can go right up to it. Let's go see. Look at the beautiful tiles. All marble tiles here. And look at the cool door. That's so neat. Dungeon. Nice. Dungeon. I think those are the dungeons. Yeah, Dungeon. maybe. Dungeon. I don't think they are the change rooms. Yeah, that's her. Oh, it's another Haman. Is it? Oh, this one's a big one. Look at that one, it looks literally like a hot tub. So very similar culture where they have the mesh walls so that the women who are here can look out but not be seen. Let's see what we see outside. Here it is. There is a view of the city of Lahore, the big massive city. This would have been some beautiful extravagant fountains. Yeah. And as you can see, it's super hot. Super hot. I'm so hot. I'm like I'm literally wet. Ew. We met a really cool Pakistani American family here. Some much needed slushies, and they taste so good because it is so hot. Yes. And ice cold filters. Look at this. Yeah, delicious. Really good. It's like cracker, sauce, yogurt, mint, chickpeas. Is there meat? Meat? Ooh. All right, so basically what this is, gold gappas, so it's round, they're round as you can tell. And they have chickpeas, mashed potato, onion, mas uh, chat masala, chili powder, and tamarind chutney. This one I drank, it was very salty. And this one? It's apparently yummy. This one tastes like maple syrup. It's yeah. actually, it actually tastes like, do you like maple syrup? It tastes like pure maple syrup. Mixed mixed. Too. Right, let's try the sweet, sweet and salty. They like sweet and salty here. 
<laughs> no, no, no. All right, so where we got the food from is this booth right here. This is where they do all the meals and everyone comes to get it. You come, 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 come. How much does it cost you? Here's my brother, pass it. Hi, how are you? What we ate here. Yeah. Oh, here, we should film it. Hard to make. Hard to make. Oh, it's nice. So good. Okay, the cost of that was for the one little dish, the round one was 75 cents. Yeah. And the other one, probably not much more. So I that's absolutely only tried two things, but the second one was my favorite. So good. Yeah. So we've been saying today, our driver, Noman, has been like our bodyguard, guide, tour guide, driver, everything. He knows when to tell people to stop taking selfies, yeah. when to let them take selfies. Where to go. It's so good. Where to eat. So it's nice. Amazing. Where are we going now? To the food street. And there's lots of rooftop restaurants and such. Nice. This is the area where you can see the mosque from the rooftops. It's going to be beautiful. We're going to go meet the away with the Steiners. They're meeting us here. Yeah, it's so exciting. And apparently, well, the pricing yeah. is a bit more because it's touristy, but still, very nice. All good, all good. I feel more like I'm in Aladdin than I did ever in India. This it just feels. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, that's crazy. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Welcome, this way. Thank you. Welcome, please. Where have we been transported to? Seriously. This place is magical, you guys. Yeah. It's just, you feel like you are transported in Aladdin. in Aladdin. You've got the heat, you've got the little people, you've got the giants. Giants! Oh my gosh, the range yesterday was so tall. Along our journey, we met Kiwi friends that we bumped into at the Taj Mahal and then again crossing the border into Pakistan. So we decided to meet up again for dinner. Oh um, so we are so hot. We haven't uh, like stopping. So, uh, yeah, we're yeah. seeing you. Yeah. But, like, we probably free. We can't go to any single ATM here. Yeah. Not one single one works. So did one work for you? No. We must have got to... lucky. We must have got lucky today. You got lucky? Didn't get enough. So, our yeah, first one that we stopped with with our driver who had no idea what Toyota we were going to. But yeah. the ATM network didn't was it. Which one was it? I don't know. No. I can't remember the name. And I'm like, Because oh. I tried certain pictures of everyone. I tried every single yes. one. I called my bank. I'm like, what is going on? They're like, yeah. no, there's no problem. Yeah, we just tried so many different ones. And I was like, oh, And then what did you do now? Um, so we had, we got, we got, I got out like um, oh, like $100 easier. Like not much. All yeah. of it let me get out. And I wish now I was I like, just I just get out. Oh my gosh. So. Because my, my, my resolution was like, I'm just going to borrow from the Kiwis. And then just pay them oh, via PayPal yeah. or something. I'm like, because surely their um, card's going to work. That was the plan. Oh, no. So um, we may or may not be having dinner. Yeah, That's yeah right. we might be doing the dishes. Well, yeah. well, maybe they'll take a card up there. We were because hoping Because what I did thing, yeah. is I... It doesn't work in your Ask first. We prepare yeah, maybe. What I did is I went to our hotel. We went all the way back to our hotel. That's why we're late. It's and I, I asked them to charge my card and oh. then give me cash. Oh, and and at I? first they were like, no, no, no. And then they're like, okay. Because I was like, I showed them pictures of all the banks I went to. Yeah. And I'm like, you have to help me. We spent a really nice evening together sharing travel stories, which is always nice. Oh, they do the ice cream on the plate where it's like cold ice cream. That looks really good. Lovely gentleman is helping us out to go get the SIM card, but the first store 
wasn't available, so now we're gonna try the next door. And uh, we got stopped by the police asking who we are, like what we're doing here, so that's interesting. You gotta watch both ways here, because sometimes you think it's only one way, but then cars go the opposite way. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's dusty here, eh, on Chalik? Right. It's always like this dust in the air, so like wear sunglasses. At the end of the day, your eyes like actually hurt. And like, I don't know if it's a combination between your sweat having like salt in the sweat that's dripping down your eyes or all the dust in the air. But as you can see, it's kind of like hazy with this dust. Okay, so we took a driver to this store called Jazz and we're at their main branch trying to get data. Um, we were gonna get data only plans, but the problem with data only plans here is they only give you one gigabyte per day or like the smaller plan was only like 500 uh, megabytes per day which isn't enough for what we use so after like 30 maybe 40 minutes in there trying to figure out the best plan we're actually each going to get a number and then they're adding gigabytes on so we're actually going to get like i think 25 gigs and all together it's going to be about maybe 30 dollars for three so that's a better option the other option they were trying to tell us is to buy like one of those little um, routers and then you connect the router and then you can top it up. But that was going to be $40, so this is a better option. And what else was I going to say about it? Yeah, it takes a long time. You need your passport, your visa, and cash. Right now we're going to go discover the Lahore Museum and learn about the history and what happened in the past in Pakistan. Apparently this is the largest museum here in all of Pakistan. So. It is a beautiful, huge building. It's gonna be interesting. Gets to come in for foreigners. It's about a thousand rupees, which, which is... Which is like five US dollars per person? Yeah, so let's go. So the galleries here are all mostly like sculptures or paintings. And we just went through in here to the Islamic gallery and then over here to the Chinese gallery and to the Gantara gallery. And now we're gonna go visit this and then Pretty big, guys. A lot to see. So this is actually a really cool section because they have all the different types of coins and money from years ago, like thousands of years ago, like the Greek times. So this is in their art exhibition and it's so beautiful. This one here is depicting what it was like back in the day and it looks very much like a, I don't know, you see the little balconies at the top with the ladies there. Oh, it's very beautiful. I don't know. If it's, I'm pretty sure, but it says paintings exhibition by women artists. Oh, so this yeah. This is really cool. All women artists. Chloe just jinxed herself. That was hilarious. Chloe's like, have you noticed not one single person has come up to us and taken, hey, asked for a selfie? Can as soon as she said it, somebody, yeah. as soon as she said it, somebody came up and now, now it started again. Here is where we were. You can see how close it is to Lahore. So when we crossed over the border, it was very close. And at one point, this was all together as one, right? So that was all one area, country, essentially. And if you don't know the history about it, there was a guy from the UK who was an architect and never s stood foot on these grounds. He was the one who mapped out the division between the two countries, which is now India and Pakistan. And it's created so much division. So it really doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, that's basically the short of it. And this shows all the secret territory. Here's a replica of the Golden Temple, which is found in Amritsar. Okay, so this is fascinating. There's a whole timeline of the Sikh, basically gurus. And it started with one guru guy in 1469. What we learned, we don't know much about it, but they have a book. That's their holy book. The holy book is like their God and they treat it like a person. So it actually goes to bed, it has a bed. They take it and wake it up in the morning. They have like a whole ritual around the book and they pray to their holy book. And so I don't know much about Sikh Sikhism, but yeah, this shows all the different gurus. So here they found a dead body. And what's interesting about it is that 
here you can see that it was women because only women in the in this times wore jewelry and even here there's some other types of jewelry and it used to be made out of rock, gold, silver, whatever they could find basically, ivory. And it's pretty cool because it still has it from that long ago. So what's really crazy in this museum is we found a whole section based on our math teacher. Our math teacher's name is Alp Masood. And what's really crazy is there's a whole section about her family. Because her family, her, both her parents, her mom and her dad, both came from Pakistan when there was no border in 1947. And what's really crazy is that when the border was built, both her parents moved to New Delhi, and then they became neighbors. And then they became lovers. And the rest is history. Yeah. And so now, there's three siblings. There's, of course, our math teacher in New Zealand, her brothers in India, and her sister is in the States. So it's pretty cool. Now, we're just joking about seeing our math teacher in the museum, although all the facts are true. Alright, so it's funny because this lady was coming up to me when we were in the line. She's like, so um, there's this place upstairs called the Super Space and I'm the marketing manager there and I've worked there. She's like, can you, once you guys are done your lunch, because I'm eating lunch too, we can all go there and you guys can have free rides, free rides. And she's probably like, oh, that's great for marketing, you know, having foreigners on your stuff. So we're like, oh, sorry, no, we're leaving. It's just hilarious because we're like, ah, perfect persons for your, you know, ads. Actually, because somebody came up to her and give her her baby. Yeah, that is a lot here. these days. That happens and then, here all the time. Yeah, it's cute. I like the little babies. They're like, oh. But then um, a movie is about 550 to 750 something like that, so pretty good. Which is how much? Uh, like $3 maybe? Cool. Yeah. You know, the other thing they asked me for when I was getting my SIM card was my dad's name. That was strange. It's been two and a half years. We're finally going back to a car yeah. floor. Oh, this is so exciting. Carrefour, Carrefour. Carrefour. Right, let's go see if they have the same products. All right, Carrefour, if you didn't know, is like a grocery store has many other things as well, and we shop there in Europe. So yeah, the girls are pretty excited, but we don't want to get our hopes up because guys, this is Pakistan and it might be quite different. As well, we haven't been in a grocery store in like two months. When we're in France, we always get these. Oh, and wait, <laughs> Those are so okay, good. Some? So of course their cheese section is a little less than what you would see. They have mini butters, tiny little butters, lassi drinks. We spent thirty dollars and we got like two big bags of stuff. Lots of junk. So stop pretending that we're not the cars. Our next stop was over to the bus station where we boarded the bus over to Islamabad. So if you want to follow along on the journey and see how we make out in Pakistan, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye! Inshallah. In Say Inshallah. In Inshallah. 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 We'll meet you other time. See you next time. Yeah, Inshallah. See you. <laughs>